Well, the absolutely first thing to say is that there are great preachers in every county in this country every Sunday because they get up in the pulpit and they talk to people about something impossible. That's what being a great preacher is, is the willingness to, to keep doing it. I think preachers are both born and made because God knew us in our mother's wombs and all of us are visited constantly by the energizing spirit of the Holy Spirit helping us to grow and change and keep believing we should get up in that pulpit and um, speak about something impossible. I, I think of a time when I was um, listening to a student give a sermon and there was a, I think if I say this, people will know what I mean. There was a kind of glib quality to it. It was so off the cuff, it was so smooth, it was um, as if what he was saying was just self-evident and simple. Um, that is, it can sound like there's no me involved in that, but there is a me involved, and the me is hidden. It's not, uh, it's not really revealing that this faith that's being described has depth and, uh, and intensity and importance and in fact is uh, a matter often of life and death. I tell my students that they don't know but what on any given Sunday there may be someone who's come to the church you don't know them you don't even know they're there and they're trying to decide if they want to live this next week. What you say cannot be glib and it cannot be unimportant. It can't just be advice for, for getting through something. It has to be the very foundation of why you bother breathing day in and day out. It has to be about something that important because that's what this is. It's about that much um, um, life and death.